right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, I'm going to give you answers to some of this homework test review. So this is just like what we were doing in the model. I've got units on both sides and I've got unknowns on one side and I want to get all my units on one side and all of my unknowns on the other. In this case it's pretty easy since I've got the unknown on the right and negative 4 is with that unknown that negative 4 is presenting preventing me from having my unknowns by themselves. So how do I get rid of a negative 4? I add the opposite. So I'll add positive 4 to both sides. Reading from left to right, 1 plus 4 is 5. Didn't do anything to the n, so that comes straight down. The equal sign also comes straight down. And the positive 4 and negative 4 make a zero pair and cancel out. So the answer to number 1 is n equals 5. You can always go back and check your answer. 1 equals n minus 4. And then substitute in the value of n that we just found when we solved. 1 equals 5 minus 4 and that's true. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Here's something a little bit different. We've got 10 times x or 10 unknowns on the left equal to negative 180 on the right. The 10 and the x are married together by multiplication. So let's give them a divorce with division. If I divide the left side by 10, I also have got to divide the right side by 10. These 10s cancel, leaving me with x alone. Negative 180 divided by 10 is negative 10. No, it's not. Negative 180 divided by 10 is negative 18. And again, you can go back and substitute. I've got a 10 times x. I've just showed that x is equal to negative 18. So I can write negative 18 in place of x, and when I multiply, sure enough, I get negative 180. Now we'll try a two-step problem. Again, I've got some units over here. Here I've got units and some unknowns added on. I want to get all my units on one side and all my unknowns on the other. Since my unknowns are already on the right, and I've only got units on the left, I'm going to cancel out the negative 8 by adding the opposite. To both sides. Negative 8 and positive 8 cancel out. The equal sign always comes straight down. Negative 24 plus 8. Remember your rules for adding integers. Negative 16. And I haven't done anything to the 4n, so that's going to come straight down. And now maybe I'll bring those a little closer together so it's easier to read. Negative 16 is equal to 4n. If it helps, we can show the result of adding positive 8 to the right side of the equation. But then 0 plus 4n won't change anything. Last step, 4 and n are married together with multiplication. So let's give them a divorce with division. 4 divided by 4 cancels out and becomes 1, leaving me with just a single n on the right. Negative 16 divided by 4 gives me negative 4 on the left. Final answer. We can check with substitution. If n is equal to negative 4, then everywhere in my equation that I see an n, I can rewrite with a negative 4 and solve. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Negative 8 and positive 16, when you put them together, equal negative 24. Our answer checks out. The last one I'm going to do is number 11. I want all my units together on one side of the equation and all of my unknowns together on the other side of the equation. So you've got to use your judgment. Pick one thing you'd like to cancel out. I'm going to start by canceling out the single x on the right hand side. Since it's a positive x, I'll cancel it out by adding its opposite to both sides. Positive and negative x cancel to become zero. The equal sign always comes straight down. I've done nothing to the three, so that comes straight down. Positive six x minus a single x gives us positive 5x. I've done nothing to the 8, so that comes straight down also. It's important to remember, 6x minus x does not equal 6. What we've really got there are 6 positive bars and 1 negative bar. 
one positive bar and negative bar come together to make a zero pair, and only five bars are left over. And now we can continue solving. On the left hand side of my equation, I have units and unknowns. On the right hand side, I've only got units. And so when all my unknowns on one side and units on the other, I'm going to cancel out the positive three units on the left hand side by adding the opposite of three units to both sides. Positive three and negative three cancel out. We didn't do anything to the five times x, so that comes straight down. The equal sign always comes straight down. Eight minus three, or eight plus negative three, is equal to positive five. Here's the last step. Five and x are married with multiplication, so give them a divorce with division. The five and five cancel to make one, leaving behind a single x. Five divided by five makes a single one. And our final answer is x equals one. Don't forget, people usually want to say any number divided by itself is zero, but it's not. Five goes into five one time. Five times five is five. Subtract with zero left over. So the fraction five-fifths equals one. Now let's take our solution, x equals one, and substitute it into the original equation. Everywhere I see an x, I'll replace it with a one. Six times one is one, so the left side reads three, plus six. Eight plus one is nine. And sure enough, this is correct, because three plus six is equal to nine.